Hello, 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 everyone. I just want to say thank you so much for spending your Sunday. You're spending your Sunday morning or afternoon to hang out with me. I totally appreciate that. Um, yeah, what have we got today? Well, it's the beginning of a new month, so it's uh, how much does a lazy eatsy seller make? I'm calling myself lazy because this year I have been doing very little in my eatsy shop just simply because of the sales. <laughs> um, so things have run down. I have actually only got about, sorry, Ben's having a scratch. Um, I've only got about 30 listings in my shop, and this time last year I had over 200. So I feel pretty lazy. Um, I'm just going to check everywhere. This is all working fine. If you guys just want to give me a hello and um, yeah, just make sure for everyone who doesn't know, I've had nightmares with um, different software, <laughs> different software not working to broadcast my live streams. <clears throat> oh, voice gone. Can the caboose, Danielle's in the house. Hello, gorgeous. Uh, I, I I am sure I've mentioned her before, but if you haven't been over to see Cat in the Caboose's channel, she has an awesome three channels now. Uh, Cat in the Caboose, Creator, I've forgotten the name of your other one, Creator Answers, and Orlando Obsession. So you want to go over and check her out. Danielle is wonderful. Um, I'm glad, glad you could. Hadn't seen you for a bit, but... Ugh. Latest latest pictures. She's not just cutting the caboose. This girl is rocking it, looking so good. Uh, paper crane wishes. Hello there. Um, <laughs> you're drinking your coffee too. I'm sadly this is is this week three or week four without me being on coffee, and I've not killed anyone yet. No murder. Probably demonetized for talking about killing people, but no murder. So today we're on the peppermint tea. Um, who have we got? Bexy Boo, hey, hey, hey. Um, Monica Milton Jewelry, hello. Rosani, hello, my dear. <laughs> Danielle, ah. <hello. laughs> uh, Doris, hello there. Paper Crane, yeah, I know. I decided, I think it was three weeks ago, this might be me going into my fourth week. I do this every now and again, but I was not sleeping like. But when I say not sleeping, I was not getting to sleep till about four in the morning and then wanting to sleep all day. I I, I am the queen of naps. I can nap any time. I, I don't have insomnia, but I was not getting to sleep at night and it was getting ridiculous. So I thought I would try cutting down on the coffee because I was up to about three or four cups a day and it's just habit. So I thought I'd see about changing my habit. So I'm trying... I've never been one a big one on flavored teas. A lot of them, I think it's hibiscus. They put they put some kind of floral thing in just about all of them, and it's revolting. Um, but I did for the past two weeks. It's been vanilla chai, and I discovered that I can. It's a caffeine free one. It's revolting, but if you put some sugar free syrup in it, um, chocolate syrup in it it makes a nice a much nicer drink but now we're on the peppermint tea um but yeah i've not killed anyone uh georgia hello there <laughs> danielle's working her way back into the saddle building a new set awesome i i would love a new set i was actually um friends of mine are trying to sell houses sell house so they were putting it up on the internet and i got sucked into the trap of just randomly looking at houses none of which i can afford or anything but just sitting going wow look at that room it's got so much light that would make a great studio <laughs> terrible but you would all miss my my broken down old sofa wouldn't you <laughs> um sandra hello there marina happy sunday yay <laughs> doris naps are great i completely agree they're the best thing in the world i th there was a time certainly where i used to actually probably sleep more on my sofa than my bed uh because i worked like about 45 miles away and i did an early shift so I think I started work at seven in the morning which meant leaving the house at six in the morning and I'm not a morning person and I seem unable to get to sleep anyway before about one or two so I would sleep from like two in the morning till about five in the morning and then go to work and then come home and nap on my sofa 
<laughs> so I don't do that any anymore. But yeah, I, I think a comfy sofa is far more important for me than a comfy bed because I sleep in it far more. Um, anyway, yes. What is the plan for today? We're going to be doing uh, how much money I've made in the month. Um, we'll just have a quick, just just for fun, what's on my felting thing at the side here. Because I wanted to share, I'm getting even happier. I've had so many um, orders, that's the word I'm looking for, orders for cats. I think I'm slowly, slowly getting there. Quite happy with this little guy. I'll move him slower. <laughs> but quite happy this little guy's getting, I'm sort of... I think I'm understanding how their little faces work. Um, but yep. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, I meant to record this. I've had so many people asking me how to make little dash hounds. And this is a little dash hound cross. But he was so cute. I love their scruffy little faces. So that's another one. I have just sent off a load to the post office yesterday. Um, another wee guy i've just got to neaten him up a bit a little fuzzy um who else have we got here a few still in progress a few bodies i have a few bodies and oh you have a little pin stuck in you um this is an aussie australian cattle dog i'm working on they have a severely seriously ticked um lots of spots on their coat and this one I'm working on using, for anyone who's asked, the reverse felting needle. Right, I should actually go to my screen and see if you can actually see anything I'm showing you. Come on. Right, um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. So the reverse felting needle, what I've done is I've built the body in white, and then I've put a layer of this tanny orangey color. And as you use the reverse felting needle, it pulls, you can probably kind of see, it pulls some of the white out, and it gives this kind of fuzzy surface that I can then felt over yeah that shows up not too badly for a rubbishy little camera so that's what i'm trying to trying to get that to a level that i'm happy with so that's that's what's on my felting table uh who am i missing <laughs> danielle only four four likes put your fingers out dotharians oh i'm a cult now excellent everyone we're a cult dotharians <laughs> awesome um Flipping Hustler, awesome, um, great name, new to your channel, new to the channel and the Etsy, been selling on eBay, <clears throat> excuse me, since 2016, awesome, welcome aboard, uh, yeah, well, I've been terrible, I, I'm not very good at selling on eBay at all, so I think if you can do eBay, you can do Etsy, it's, they're all a learning curve, but well, hopefully we can, we can all help each other, little Bo Blythe, hello there, um, Monica, where am I based? I'm in Scotland, just outside Glasgow. Um, uh, Mike, hey, is it easy getting started on eBay? Yeah, good, qu good question. <laughs> some people do really well on eBay, some people not so much. I've been hit and miss. I find, for me, I know, I know you asked Flipping Hunter, but I'm going to jump in because my show. Um, I found on eBay, it's. Well, what I use eBay for is buying cheap things quickly. And that's been my experience of what most people are buying. So if I want to sell like my handmade stuff, it works when I've got a good following on social media and say, hey, this thing that I never sell is suddenly is going up and it's only going to be there for a week. So if you can build excitement. But in general, I've done fairly badly on ebay but some people do great it's i think everything's different um but yeah it's easy to set up if you have your paypal set up flipping hustler <laughs> indeed and wanaka's in Dun dunfermline just up the road kind of <laughs> in terms of where everyone else is from yeah if everyone because people like talking about where they're from if you want to drop drop in the chat uh where where you're from and we can see see who's who's closest who's furthest away okay <laughs> right hang on I, I shouldn't do this right dead air and all that nonsense what were you saying danielle <laughs> <laughs> how completely random I happened to have mini mouse ears in my sitting room as you said that. Okay, we're leaving the mouse ears. 
this was from an idea that I had absolutely ages ago that I haven't had the chance to do. I don't usually wear mouse ears for sure. But see, Danielle, the things I do for you. Um, uh, Mike's from Florida, USA. Awesome. I bet it's not blooming freezing as well. It's probably freezing for you, but it's horrible here. We haven't had spring yet, which means my house is still a mess because usually when the first couple of days, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but the first couple of days when it gets kind of nice, I'd look around my house and go, this is a tip and try and do something about it. But if we don't have spring, I don't get that boost and my house just looks like a tip. <laughs> um, Yolanda, Central Texas, awesome. Wendy from Las Vegas. Oh, such cool sounding places as well. So much nicer than, well, no, Glasgow's lovely. <laughs> um, what have we got? Tos Tosa? My, yeah, Tosa. Cool, that's Marina. Um, and Bexy's in the Fens, Cambridgeshire. I know that one. And Little Bird Blythe's Nottingham. Cool, yeah, let's see some places that I do know. All right. So hopefully, hopefully we don't have a crash. If we do, bear with me. But um, <laughs> Rosanna, yay, mouse ears. <laughs> a grab, I don't know if I said that. How to use Google Trends for Etsy. That's an awesome question. Um, I will... I will do a video on that rather than just quickly talk about about that. Um, yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a full video on that. That that's quite a big a bigger one. Um, but yeah, great question, uh, Wendy. You're in full spring there. It's supposed to be ninety one tomorrow, right? I can't. Do, we're in Celsius here, but I know Scrap and Pallet Man, who's been on this. Been, been in the chat before, friend of the channel. He was saying that yesterday they hit 70 degrees and I looked that up and that was 20 Celsius, which is quite pleasant for this time of the year. So 90, I someone can let me know what that is in centigrade Celsius, um, but 91 sounds like it's roasting. So awesome. That Yeah, that sounds like some of the best days of our summer. I'm guessing that's high 20s. I can't do conversions. Um, <laughs> little bird trying to tidy the craft room. Help me with some encouragement. Stick the kettle on. Sit down. <laughs> Just chill. Hang out. Oh, don't tell me about craft room. My, I don't have a craft room. I have, I have a craft explosion all over my house. There's alpaca in the dining room. There's everything over there. I don't even. Right, have I shown you guys this? Right, this, this. This is where I store a lot of my wool. I have that's an over the door shoe holder that is stuffed full of wool. There's there's some of my crafty things. That's some of the wool which is exploding and needs tidied. And then there's a bookcase with exploding and needs tidied. <laughs> and then in my spare bedroom, I have exploding and needs tidied. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, sorry, I'm the worst person. Oh, I've even got wool right, right here. That's that's a good look. Um, <laughs> Cut in the caboose. Would love to commission some Orlando obsession ears. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll think about it. I've never done. I've never done anything that kind of, sorry, oh, I'll think about it. Let me come back to you once I've stopped being ridiculously super busy. Um, yeah, I'm going to, right, I think I've got permission to tell you guys, but I'm going to tell you anyway. A little exciting thing I wanted to share. It doesn't doesn't change things here, but um, you'll all know E-Rank, the tool that I've been using forever. So I'm now um, contracting for them. I'm doing a contracting that's not the word I want it is yeah I'm I'm working with them a little bit but nothing will change on my channel everything I say is still my advice and stuff but just a little a little extra there um 
Yeah, <laughs> um, and I've also still got, still trying to catch up on the sales from February when I went viral on Instagram um, and trying to make videos. I haven't, I probably have forgot some of you. You've all told me wonderful things that I could make videos for. And yeah, I've probably forgot some of them, but I have a whole list and I'm trying to remember. Um, oh, but Danielle, cutting the caboose as well. Um, I don't know if you know Rosani um, and her paper mache wonderfulness. She could make you some lovely ears as well because she does a, her mask masquerade masks. Everyone should go and check out. Um, she did some paper mache masquerade masks, which just looked so cool. I have forever wanted to go to some kind of masquerade ball. I think it looks so much fun. Um, D -d -d -d. Who have I missed? Uh, Georgia, I don't know where PA is. NJ is New Jersey, I think. I'm not very good at American anything. Uh, Flipping Hustlers, Minnesota. Bexy, been around 13 degrees and raining. Thankfully, for a change, it's not raining here today, but I don't think we're in double figures. It's freezing. I have I have blanket on my lap. I'm freezing. The only reason I don't have heating on is um, my central heating makes inappropriate noises when I'm live streaming, and I have a little heater at my feet, but it glows quite orange and looks terrible. So I'm going to suffer just to look good. Um, Little bird, yeah, you keep overflowing too. <laughs> yeah, I've got to stop exploding and tidy up some of that. Um, Rosani, they remind me of triples. Mm. <laughs> uh, Mike, good to be busy. Oh, it absolutely is. I am actually planning a video on the realities of 10 years selling on Etsy and all these kind of things. It's it's not all fun and sunshine and everything. The past couple of years have been fantastic. This this year is such wood setting out to be a really good year, but it's not been easy. And I want to be fair. I want to be honest and share that because so many people think like we all do it. You put up your shop, you put up your listings, and you think that's it. I'm going to make a living. No, most people it's going to take a lot more than just putting up your listings. It's hard work. Um, where did I get to? Uh, Wendy, it's pretty warm, about 33 Celsius. Good grief, yeah. Um, that, well, 33 Celsius is unexpected <laughs> in Scotland, I have to say that. I, I think last summer we hit some days that were in the high end of the 30s and we were struggling that is so unusual basically I was getting up about seven eight in the morning and driving to Loch Lomond for the dogs to have a runabout they could not be out of the house after that till about eight nine o'clock at night it was roasting and too hot for us so 51.6 I would die <laughs> <laughs> but in in my defense when people talk about these things in in scotland in most of the uk we don't have air conditioning and all these fancy things we have houses designed for rain and snow and keeping warm we don't have houses designed for keeping cool <laughs> sandra i'm not going to try and make that noise but it sounds awesome um little bird blythe lovey rank me as well yeah that's that's why I was so so chuffed when they asked me if I could join on board. Uh, Bexy, yeah, I, it is awesome. E rank is great, and Anthony and I will say that not not because of anything else. I've always said this: if you're on E rank and you have any trouble, Anthony, the person that does E rank, um, he is there answering the questions like all the time. The guy is a machine. Um, <laughs> Sandra, you're rocking internet, yay! <laughs> Cutting the caboose sobbed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Rosani, chat going fast. Triple Star Trek ref reference about the wool fibre. Ah, okay. Um, Gara um, Garav, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, ETC has stopped providing countrywide views. It has, yes. I believe 
E rank were talking about, um, they were putting up a map so you could see where your sales were coming from, but yeah, not the countrywide views, which is a is a bit of a pain. My tea's getting cold already. I definitely need one of these heated cups. Yeah, that's that's not nice when it's cold. Oh, Wendy, most of your family lives much more north than you. You have central central air couldn't live without it ah yeah cool i mean i suppose it's just different places my sister's in new zealand i've, I've never been but my mum my mum says it's far less common for them to have central heating whereas heating is super important i mean it's it's april and my heating's still on quite a lot of the time because it's blooming freezing so different priorities Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I was supposed to be getting on for doing what we're supposed to be doing today, which is checking out how much money this lazy Etsy seller makes. So for those of you that are new, what we do here, I just look at my previous month's sales and basically compare them to this time last year, see how we're doing for the year, see what search terms we're working and talk about hopefully what I was doing, if I did anything right or wrong, or yeah, all that good stuff. So let's pop up to the screen, if I can do this for, for YouTube people. I'm on Google Hangouts and I hate it with a passion, um, but it's the only thing that's working for me. So here we go, hopefully, please work. Come on, please work. So now we should be seeing my screen. <clears throat> all right, so. Before we flick onto things, if you guys wanna let me know whether you think I've done better or worse than this time last year. Um, I know unfortunately the face, uh, unfortunately or maybe fortunately the face is gone. Um, right, so, ooh, all time, didn't want that. Uh, last month, do we think I did gooder or worser? So <laughs> that came up far too quickly before anyone had a chance to answer. But as I say, my shop last year had over 200 listings in it. This year it has, let's let's find out what it has. I don't think it's many at all. Come on, come on, eat, see, I was going to say YouTube, it's not. Um, I have 29 active listings. That is the lowest in a very long time. Um, so, so with my listings uh, almost a tenth, really, of, of what they were last year, I have actually had a total of 3,450 views, which is 12% up on last year, and 1,892 visits, which is 20% up on last year. For those that don't know, a visit is anyone coming into your shop that counts as one visit but if they come into your shop or a listing or whatever and they have a look at three or four listings that's only one visit but it could be three or four views that's the difference in the numbers there um let's check the chat uh begsy good or worse sir I, I said that didn't i <laughs> uh, mike gooder than anything i could do <laughs> uh, Wendy, you love my bookmarks. Thank you so much. Uh, right, so for for the month, quickly having a look. I and I will say, my I'm looking at the camera. The camera's not even showing just now. I will say, I've also increased my processing time to the longest it can possibly be, which I think is like four to six weeks, six to eight weeks. It's on the longest I can have my processing time, which should put some people off as well. So I potentially could have had more sales than this. And I'm probably not answering my emails as quickly as I as I used to. But anyway, so for the month of March, I had 11 orders and made 420 quid. And I still have, I've still got about 15 listings to catch up from from the the craziness in february so yeah getting 11 more orders was still quite a lot um so let's compare this to last year and that is oh okay I, I remember last year you can just see behind um in the lighter that's last year's orders i had a big order 220 pounds um so 
but basically had very few orders, but one was a big one. If I rem- I'm pretty sure that was for someone's wedding. It was doing table kind of favors, little little dog, their little dog to be on every table, basically. So that's that's what that is. So my orders are 83% up on last year, but my actual revenue is only 2% up because I had that super big order then. But still, we're up on last year from doing nothing like literally nothing in my shop but as we know that's that's just because I got lucky the 10 years work before has built up this momentum that I've got super lucky um my main traffic sources and again the traffic sources are different than what they used to be because of these things so um we're down to 48 48 30 38% of my views come from Etsy. Now that's usually much higher, but what's changed is coming now. I believe the Instagram visits are mainly coming direct. Um, so that show are counting as direct, so that shows up there. And then social media, I think, are the Pinterest. So about half of my views are now kind of coming from social media, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm gonna say eight and a half percent from external search is pretty cool cool as well that's like either people looking directly for me or looking for the stuff that I that I create and find in me so that's pretty cool and the search terms this is where it has changed a little bit in that people are now searching for my shop name and that's because um they found me through the links on Instagram, come over to Etsy and search for Ben McFuzzy Lugs. So people know my name. That's never been a search term very much before. Um, and yeah, needle felty dog. Sam White, I'm pr- pretty happy with that. I think you all saw me do needle felt the, the Yeti and then I put up a list, Yeti the Samoid. It's not a Yeti, it's Yeti the Samoid. And I put up a listing um, based on his picture and that's getting actually a few searches it's not much but it all built, builds up um pet portrait needle felted cat so overall i think springer spaniel hasn't been in there for a while so people are searching for spaniels a bit more which is interesting um oh and it used to have an ease and tibetan terrier used to be a high search they're not there anymore have we got oh i'm tibetan terrier there he is yeah i'm not seeing the havanese anymore yeah maybe they're a less popular less popular breed nowadays that's fascinating there we go see (laughs) the only time i get time to look at my stats is when i'm doing it with you guys and so the websites where people are coming from is etsy pinterest both of those add up so it's over 300 77 from YouTube and Google. Oh, Bexy, is it all fuzzy? Oh, that is a total pain. Um, Right, can I? I can't check without going into something else. Oh, that is a pain. Right, here, I'll just, I'll, I think we've seen everything. Um, Right, how do I unshare? Yeah, back to me. Uh, right, no, if it's all fuzzy, then there's, there's no point. But that that's covered most of it anyway. So, surprisingly, oh, no, Carly's saying it's not fuzzy. It looks like I managed to switch switch back. Yeah, I managed to switch back and everything didn't crash, which is pretty awesome for Google Hangouts. Um, yeah, <laughs> so, Bex, yeah, I, I don't know if it was if it was you or you or me. Sorry that... I can't really get to see, I can't control things as much with Google Hangouts. I hate it. Let's be honest. Okay, but anyway, that's that's the quick, quick look at my shop. Um, what, what a lazy Etsy seller made. But if anyone has any questions on Etsy or anything like like that, then um I'm obviously more than happy to answer them. If not, then it might be a short stream, which I'm not, I'm totally not rushing through because I'm going to make pizza and pizza is my favorite food in the entire world. Not, not just rushing through for that. Um, But yeah, if anyone has any questions or wants to let me know what's going on in their week. And if not, we'll be finishing up. I can't believe I'm still wearing Minnie Mouse here. (laughs) Sorry, Danielle. Um, Right, yeah. Oh, wow, I got through that quickly. Just some some days I'm talking away for two hours, and then today I've, I've been talking quick, haven't I? 
<laughs> the lack of caffeine. Um, yeah, anyway, I think everything's working good. Yeah, still looks good this end. Okay, guys, I am going to run off and make my pizza. <laughs> so, uh, Wendy's prepping for an art fair. Oh, exciting, cool. Um, that, that sounds really cool. Um, yeah, how much stuff do you need for an art fair? I can't, I think I did, I did a craft, I've done two craft fairs, two, no, three craft fairs, and it's, it's a nightmare getting enough stock for that. Um, and Georgia felted her first fish or some fishies. I have to get felting a fish. Everyone now creating fishies and posting them on and if you're not on it um pam duffy's felting friends facebook page not just for felting people just for anyone i just chose a bad name because i'm terrible at these things um but yeah everyone's sharing their work there or you can hashtag me ben mcfuzzy lugs on all other social media i'll find it eventually i am really really bad on instagram though and i'll probably find it five years later and get all excited um and twit yeah don't don't twitter anything i haven't i have an account i don't understand it um yeah but share stuff facebook pinterest instagram yeah those are the ones i kind of understand um ej hello there from kansas hello uh, Wendy making lots of things and getting so many ideas yeah that's the super cool thing when you start out if someone says you've got to make a hundred things and you can't think of a hundred things but it's the same anything like when you do a 30-day challenge of drawing for 30 days creating for 30 days making a video a day for 30 days if you just start it, it's really mad crazy how sort of inspiration just goes from it you know if you had to sit down and think of 30 things or 100 things you wouldn't be able to but 10 days into a challenge and suddenly you have more ideas than you could possibly imagine so yeah it's totally worth it um so yeah the more you make the more ideas you get uh mariana thank you as well thank thank you everybody um <laughs> AJ, I ate food for 30 days. Yeah, and weren't you so inspired? I eat I I eat food for 30 days and I can continue eating food more and more. Far too much. I'm very inspired when I eat food. <laughs> uh Rosani, yeah, great to see familiar friends. Yeah, great to see friends here. It is. I totally appreciate that you guys give up a little bit of your Sunday to come and talk nonsense with little old me. It is that's pretty cool um and thank you so much as well yeah i i think i think that'll do i am starving um so guys thank you thank you all so much um hopefully some good videos coming out i've got one to edit not sure what i'm doing for the end of the week um but yeah you all take care have an awesome sunday and a great week thank you so much